Good evening. Bullets fired in broad daylight. A mid-afternoon shooting in North York has left one dead and another in hospital. Tonight, investigators are on the scene trying to determine what led to the gunfire. CTV's Mike Walker is live at the scene with the very latest. Actually, you know Mike. Well, Nathan and Michelle, we just got an update from investigators just a couple of minutes ago, and this is now a double homicide. You can see the forensic investigators behind me processing the scene. There are several evidence markers in this parking lot in the middle of this complex. That's where the shooting happened. According to Toronto Police, gunshots rang out just after 2 o'clock this afternoon. When officers arrived on scene, they found both victims suffering from gunshot wounds. Life-saving measures were performed, but one person was pronounced dead here at the scene. Another person was rushed to hospital where they later died from their injuries. We spoke with some witnesses who heard the gunshots that were fired here near Jeff Driftwood and Drain. Uh, Jane. Here's more from them. I didn't count the shots, but I think around like five, six, seven, something like this. And then what happened? People were running, screaming. I was terrified. I was really terrified. I didn't know what, how to react. We were just, I just wanted to go back home. That's it. I feel, I, feel, I feel bad. I feel sorry for the family that lost their member. And, uh, yeah, and I fear because we have kids, and ki the kids, they play around here, right? Now, again, we just got that update from police literally a couple of minutes ago, confirming that this is now a double homicide. Both victims are people in their 20s. Here's more from investigators. When officers arrived on scene, they located two victims suffering from gunshot wounds. Sadly, one of those victims was pronounced deceased at the scene, while the second victim was transported to hospital via an emergency run. That individual has now been pronounced deceased, making this a double, hom a double homicide. Officers also located two firearms on scene. I cannot identify the victims until their next of kin had been notified, but I can tell you that both victims were in their 20s. Now, investigators add that the gunshots were, the, the shooting was a result of an altercation between uh, these groups of people. Uh, they didn't elaborate on exactly what happened. There is also no description of suspects. At this point, police are canvassing the area. They are appealing for witnesses and anyone with dash cam video to come forward. Reporting live, I'm Mike Walker. Back to you. Thank you, Mike.